The Guam Police Department released its findings from the Department of Corrections barbecue video investigation late Friday afternoon. DOC Acting Director Anton Uggen says DOC's Warden Major Francisco Cristosmo and Captain Joseph Lujan were both cleared of any wrongdoing and that the barbecue was authorized. The investigation revealed that the warden had the authority to authorize the barbecue for its inmates and to allow inmates the use of laptops. But the investigation revealed that the video recording of the barbecue was not permitted. The recording was not authorized. That's something the inmates did on their own. Uh, as far as the officers, the allegation of officers not being in the area, there were officers. The investigation turned out that there were officers in that area. Um, even in the investigation, the inmate himself says that he intentionally left out officers because the video was made for the inmates, not, and he didn't want to have any officers' pictures involved you know, in the video. Unfortunately, the warden was one of them when he was doing the barbecue thing there. Uggen says those inmates are still facing administrative issues on DOC side. Christosimo was recently assigned to the Department of Youth Affairs from DOC in the wake of the barbecue video controversy, which also led to the dismissal of J.B. Palacios as director of DOC and his replacement by Uggen. Late Wednesday, Christosimo filed a complaint with GPD against Uggen, alleging official misconduct. In the GPD complaint, case number 10-236245, Christosimo accuses Uggen of official misconduct. In our interview, Christosimo wished to remain off camera, says his complaint is based on a letter received and three anonymous phone calls pertaining to the release to the media of the prison barbecue video and how it was made public. Christosimo says the information he received alleged that the acting director, Lieutenant Anton Uggen, had a copy of DOC's barbecue video and that he leaked the controversial video to the media. He had that video and he also contacted the old housing unit, Post 24, and informed his brother, a convicted criminal, Michael Uggen, to clear up his computer because he's going to expose that video. And what really disturbed me here is that during that time I was the acting director and also a warden, he was a lieutenant. And if this is true, there's a, criminal, there's a criminal issue here, there's a criminal uh, uh, violation here. Uggen points out if he had done anything wrong, it would have been brought up and contained within GPD's investigation surrounding the DOC barbecue video. You know, the, the warden has filed a complaint, I understand. I haven't seen the complaint, but he has issued one, and I'm, that's fine, that's his right. And uh, if they do investigate and look at it, they will determine that I didn't do anything wrong. Christosimo also alleges when Uggen told his brother Michael to clear the computer, his brother tipped off the other inmates to do the same. Christosimo says it's really disturbing for a lieutenant to inform a prisoner. Uh, Uggen says he would have preferred Christosimo to leave his brother's name out of the report because it is a security issue. issue. Now you just put my brother's life in danger, you know, and that's not right. If, if they have an issue of something, then follow the right procedures, but you don't have to go and mention people's names and get other people involved. I mean, you're, you're putting his life in danger now. You know, and that's, that's uncalled for. Okay, that's just uncalled for and unprofessional. Uggen says when he took over as the acting director, in addition to GPD's barbecue investigation, they are also conducting two more investigations at DOC. The GPD also decided to go in and re-interview some inmates in regards to the homicide that happened. Uh, back in May, I believe, and uh, they're still, I think all the questioning of the inmates are done already. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what their findings were, but, you know, I do know they, they used the opportunity to just go back and ask more questions. Then, then besides, then it was the uh, corruption task force also looking into some other things. While these investigations are ongoing, GPD requested that Christosimo and Lujan be moved from DOC. Uggen says for the time being, he decided to move both of them to DYA. He says once the investigations are over, both Christosimo and Lujan should be able to return to DOC. Uggen says this move was made to preserve the integrity of these investigations. For now, Uggen says he was appointed by the governor to be the acting director, and he will work with DOC to improve their operations. David Macaluso, PNC News.